So I'd like to introduce you to a little project here at the Smart Energy Lab. It's a uh, little solar trailer behind me here. Uh, this is kind of a demonstration what a, a small renewable energy system can be with generator backup. It could be an RV vehicle, it could be a caravan, it could be a trailer. Though I suspect with panels like this, a little bit too aerodynamic for driving along the highway. Maybe they can be taken off uh, for travel purposes. But what have we got in here? So let's have a bit of a look. Um, it's the heart of this unit uh, is a uh, inverter system. So we've got the Voltex 3 kilowatt inverter here. This is a 12 volt um, 3 kilowatt inverter. 3 kilowatts is actually a lot of amps at 12 volts. So to do that, we have a very large 400 amp hour battery down the bottom here. But we've also got the ability to charge devices, including other batteries. So we've got a, a Voltex battery here. This is a um, 100 amp hour 12.8 uh, volt uh, battery. Uh, that can be charged and taken back to a vehicle, for instance, as an auxiliary. We've also got the, uh, the Voltex portable power station here. Uh, these are great. I just love portable power stations. And we've got some portable solar panels. So you can take your portable power station and uh, set up your little fold out panels and keep the whole thing running. The system here really was just a demonstration, but we've also got on the other side <laughs> another brand, Victron. Probably familiar to a lot of viewers of my channel. Uh, Victron is one of the oldest inverter companies, well I should say um, renewable energy product companies in the world. They've been around a very long time. Uh, I think they started in the Netherlands, but you'll find them all around the world. One of the things that is characterized by Victron is the ability to do lots of different configurations. So this is a, a small solar system. So we've got two panels connected in series and they're connected to this MPPT here. This MPPT takes in up to 150 volts from two panels in series, but charges a 48 volt battery system. So we've got some Shoto um, lead acid batteries here. These are 12 volt monoblocks connected in uh, series to give us a 48 volt system. We've also got something known as the BAX system. Now this is kind of like, it makes a lead acid battery smart. It does individual balancing of battery modules. So there's little balancing wires that go across uh, these 12 volt modules here to make sure that they're all working in unison. It's also connected to the cloud, so we can monitor the system remotely. The uh, power for the AC comes from this Quattro here. So this is, uh, well actually it's called the multi-grid, sorry. Uh, it's a three kilowatt, 48 volt multi-grid. And because we've got a lot of 12 volt loads on the other side, we have a 48 to 12 volt converter from Victron as well. And all of this is monitored by the beautiful Color GX device. I really can't say enough about GX devices, uh, how good they are. Um, it's a bit, uh, you can't see much, it's just a screen, but behind it is uh, all of the ports that you would imagine needing, whether it's inputs or outputs, controls, uh, communication ports for various uh, products, CAN bus, uh, RS485, VE Direct, VE, <laughs> um, uh, whatever, it's got it all there. Um, and we have a small switchboard here for the PV and uh, the AC. So there you go, this is um, a small system, but ultimately you've got to consider that sometimes the sun doesn't shine and uh, <laughs> that's when a little backup generator comes in. So up here we've got the uh, Gentrax 2.2 kilowatt generator. <sighs> it's under here somewhere. <laughs> It's actually IP23, but I like to really look after it. You don't want to leave them out in the rain. So it is under a solar panel and it is under a little cover here uh, to give it um, extra protection. And it plugs in to a socket inlet here. Uh, this is the caravan style socket inlet uh, that the generator would plug into just here. So there you go, a small uh, self-contained power system can be used for battery charging uh, it can be used for um, directly powering devices and we've even got some 
uh, 12 volt outputs here for cigarette socket and USB charging as well. And oh, one more thing I forgot to mention was the Acrano. We've got the newest GX device called the Acrano, which is monitoring a uh, volt go battery here. We've got a, a 400 amp hour 12.8 uh, volt go battery, and it's monitored by the Acrano. Now, if you've got good eyesight, you might notice the Acrano is not monitoring at the moment because we're still configuring the, the can on that. But it's a pretty awesome setup, if you ask me. Um, I'm just going to give you a close up look. So down in here is the, the volt go battery. Um, in the heart of the the trailer and uh, it's actually got displays so you can you can turn it on and off with a button here uh, so that means that it won't self discharge it's got a state of charge uh, graph there showing in percentage what the state of charge is and we've connected it to a 250 amp circuit breaker because you do have to protect those cables leaving the battery system and those supply the uh, Voltex 3 kilowatt uh, 12 volt inverter. So there you go. And there's even lights in here. Oh, why don't I turn them on? There we go. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of LED strip lighting to make up your day. And very lastly is um, the simplest display of all from Victron. So this is there, it looks simple, but it's got about 60 plus features built into this tiny little thing. Um, you can use it for monitoring battery voltage, current state of charge, and you can also use it for generator start and other controls. So there you go. Once again, uh, Victron have a lot of solutions. And we even got a generic um, lithium battery here, which is another kind of portable unit in case of uh, failure. Uh, just so everyone knows what's going on, we did even draw a little schematic of this thing. <laughs> Might have to upload that for you. So there you go. That is the Smart Energy Lab little portable trailer uh, used for kind of testing products, but also showing what can be done uh, with a whole range of small RV focused components. Thanks for watching. Check it.